Hey everyone, welcome back. You know, we get a lot of questions about using AI in marketing, and today we're taking a deep dive into that. We're looking at Richard Barker's How to Leverage AI in Marketing, a right. guide for growing your practice. Mm -hmm. He calls himself the hypnotic marketing mentor, mm -hmm. which, all right, a little out there, I get it. Yeah. But honestly, yeah. his advice is super practical. So let's get into it. I think what Barker does really well is he cuts through all the AI hype. It's easy to get caught up in the idea of robots taking over, but Barker makes it clear AI is a tool. It's here to make us better at what we already do, not replace us entirely. That's such a good point. I mean, how many times have you agonized over the perfect time to post on Instagram for like maximum engagement? Right. AI could just do that for you instantly. No more guessing games. Exactly. Or even more than that. Think about analyzing all your data. AI can go through mountains of information, figure out who your perfect client is, what they need before they even know it themselves. And yeah. then it yeah, helps it you actually tailor your message to really connect with them. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's seriously impressive. But can you give me like a concrete example? Barker keeps talking about AI as your marketing expert. Yeah. But how does that actually play out in the real world? Say I'm trying to get more clients for, oh, I don't know, let's say a physiotherapy practice. What would that AI expert actually do? Okay, so picture this. You're trying to reach people who need physiotherapy, maybe for sports injuries, right? AI can look at your current clients, see who's engaging with you on social media, even look at broader trends, and it starts to see patterns. Maybe it discovers that searches for tennis elbow treatment spike on Wednesday evenings. Boom, now you know when to target your ads for that specific need. So instead of just, like, throwing a generic ad out there and hoping for the best... I can use AI to get super specific and actually make my budget count. Right. It's like having a marketing oracle telling you exactly where to focus your energy. And here's the best part. Then you, with your human touch, can write really compelling ad copy or even just adjust your website content. You're using AI to get laser focused. Okay. Now that you put it that way, it sounds less like scary sci-fi and more like, I don't know, a superpower. But I got to be honest, I still have those little voices of doubt in the back of my mind like, what if it's too complicated or even worse? Is this going to replace me completely? Oh, I totally get that. Those are valid concerns and Barker addresses them head on. He debunks those myths by showing how AI is already part of our lives. Think about it. Those personalized recommendations you get on Netflix or Spotify, that's AI. Wait, really? I just thought that was like a fancy algorithm or something. I had no idea AI was behind that. See, it's already all around us, just quietly making things easier without us even realizing it. And that's Barker's point. This isn't about replacing your skills. It's about giving you intelligent tools to do even more. Okay. Phew. That does make me feel a lot better. But what about the cost factor? Isn't all this AI tech going to be super expensive? I can already feel my budget sweating. Not necessarily. And this is where Barker's advice is really helpful, especially for individual practitioners or anyone running a small business, really. He makes it clear that there's a whole range of AI tools out there. Some are super simple and affordable, while others are more advanced. And yeah, come with a bigger price tag. The key is figure out what you actually need right now and what fits your budget. You don't have to go all in right away. So I don't need to, like invest in some crazy expensive AI software suite right off the bat. Nope, not at all. In fact, Barker even suggests something as simple as an email autoresponder as a starting point. You're probably already using one, but if you understand the AI behind it even a little, you can get way more out of it. Mind blown. I never even thought of my trusty email autoresponder as being powered by AI. Exactly. It's more accessible than we think. It's about finding those places where these tools fit naturally and can help you work smarter not harder. Okay, so we've busted some AI myths and like dipped our toes in the AI pool. Yeah. But now yeah. Barker has this whole five step action plan and I feel like things are about to get interesting. You know, like actually building something real here. Well it's not exactly a wild ride, but it is a super practical roadmap. And it all starts with getting real with yourself about your current marketing strategy, you know, taking stock. Right. Step one, look at your current marketing strategy. I like that. It's like decluttering, but for your marketing. Time to channel your inner Marie Kondo and figure out what's sparking joy, or at least, you know, what's converting. Yeah. Basically, Barker wants you to pinpoint those spots where you're like, Ugh, this is a struggle. Is it getting new clients, managing all those appointments, or maybe like you're chained to your phone posting on social media all day, but not seeing any results? Those pain points, that's where we start. Got it. Find the problems first. Then what? 
Are we supposed to just throw AI solutions at every little thing? Not so fast. We got to be strategic about this. Step two is all about setting super clear goals, ones that you can actually measure. And they got to line up with your big picture business goals, right? So are you aiming for, say, 10% more clients this quarter? Or maybe you're dreaming of automating your appointment scheduling so you can actually, like, breathe and focus on client care. So it's not, let's just do AI because it's cool. It's what do I actually want AI to help me achieve? You got it. Once you've nailed down those goals, then you move on to step three, which is all about choosing the right AI tools for the job. And remember, there's no magic one-size-fits-all solution here. Okay, yeah. That's where I think a lot of people probably hit a wall. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many AI tools popping up, how do you even know where to begin? It's a lot. I hear you. But Barker lays it out in a way that makes sense. Think about it this way. How easy is the tool to use? Can you actually integrate it with the systems you're already using, like, without it being a total tech nightmare? And, of course, what's your budget look like? Don't be afraid to start small, you know? Maybe a social media scheduling tool that uses AI to figure out the best times to post for you. Or even a simple chat bot that can handle those basic FAQs that pop up when you're swamped. Right. Start small, get some wins, then level up your AI game as you go. I like that approach. Feels way less intimidating. But before we get too excited about tools, Barker also really emphasizes the importance of data, which makes sense. Oh, absolutely. Step four is all about that data, gathering it, cleaning it up, making sure it's actually useful. Barker's big on this point. Mm. Good data is like the foundation for everything AI. He compares it to baking a cake if you use rotten eggs. It doesn't matter how fancy your oven is, the cake's going to be a disaster. Got to have good ingredients. Okay, that is a visual I'm not going to forget anytime soon. Yeah. So how do we make sure our data isn't, well, rotten? How do we keep things fresh? Barker recommends a good old-fashioned data audit. Sounds boring, I know, but it's important. Ask yourself, am I actually collecting the right information for my clients? Is it accurate, organized? Are there any gaps in my system? So before we even think about implementing AI, we need to get our data ducks in a row, make sure everything's clean and tidy. Exactly. Clean, organized, relevant data, that's what makes AI work its magic. Okay, data hygiene is key. Got it. So we've analyzed our strategy, we've set clear goals, picked our tools, and we've got our data sparkling clean. Now what? Bring on the grand finale. How do we actually put all of this into action? He's all about easing into it, you know, starting small and scaling up as you gain confidence. He even gives examples like using AI to automate your email marketing or even just personalize the content on your website a bit more. Nothing too crazy. That makes sense, Hmm. especially for someone who's just dipping their toes into the AI world. It's about getting those quick wins that prove, hey, this stuff actually works. Exactly. And as you see results... Then you can start exploring the more sophisticated stuff like predictive analytics or even AI-powered content creation tools, but one step at a time. It's like we're building our own, I don't know, AI-powered marketing machine. (laughs) And speaking of tools, Barker keeps using this analogy of AI being like a Swiss army knife for marketers. And honestly, I'm kind of into it. Yeah, it's a good one. AI really does have so many applications. You can use it for almost anything in marketing these days. And for someone like you, you know, building a practice, that ability to really personalize your client interactions, that's huge. Oh, absolutely. Tell me more about that. Like, how does that actually work in practice? Okay, so imagine this. You can use AI to see which pages potential clients are looking at on your website, right? Like maybe they're spending a lot of time reading about, say, post-surgery rehab. That tells you something. Then you can set up these AI-powered email sequences that deliver exactly the right content based on their interests. No more guesswork. Wow. So it's like, goodbye, generic, welcome to my practice emails. Yeah. Hello, hyper-personalized communication. Exactly. And speaking of making life easier, Barker's also super excited about what AI can do for content creation. Think about it. AI can help you brainstorm blog post ideas, even draft social media updates for you. Some tools can even create graphics. It's wild. Okay. Now that would be a game changer. Seriously. Especially for anyone who's juggling a million things already. Mm. It's all about working smarter, not harder, right? 100%. And it's not just about creating more content. It's about creating the right content. AI can analyze data to tell you what's already working, what people are actually engaging with. Heck, it can even try to predict future trends. Okay. Yeah, you're speaking my language. Data-driven decisions all the way. But let's be real for a sec. This all sounds amazing, but how do we know if it's actually working? Barker talks about measuring ROI, which is obviously crucial. Mm -hmm. But how do you actually track the impact of 
like all these AI efforts. Right. Got to make sure it's not just hype. And Barker has some solid advice on this, too. He's all about focusing on those key performance indicators, those KPIs. So are your conversion rates going up? Are people engaging with your content more? Are you actually saving time or money that you can reinvest? Those metrics tell the real story. So it's about staying grounded, keeping an eye on the numbers, making sure the AI is actually moving the needle for you. Exactly. AI is a tool, a powerful one, but it has to prove its worth, just like anything else in your business. Well said. As we wrap up our deep dive into AI marketing, I got to say, Barker's book has been incredibly insightful. It feels really empowering to know that these tools are out there and, you know, they're accessible even for individual practitioners like you listening. It's definitely an exciting time to be in the marketing world. It really is. And as Barker reminds us, even though the technology is super cool, it all comes back to those fundamental marketing principles. Those never go out of style. Totally agree. It's about combining your knowledge and experience with the power of AI to create a strategy that really sings music to my ears. So for everyone listening who's feeling ready to explore AI marketing, remember what Barker says. Start small, dream big, and let AI help you build the practice of your dreams. And if you want to learn even more about Barker's strategies, he just launched a new program this year called Hypnotic Marketing Mastery. Check it out. Until next time, happy marketing.